well, let's see what it looks like in Internet Explorer. But, um, okay, my name's Chris Follows, I'm um, part of the Alto team, uh, Arts Learn Teaching Online. Um, also, uh, here today are Trams, who are going to demo um, the circular over the back there, who are going to demo uh, Final Cut Server for us, which is going to be quite interesting to me because um, we've sort of shaped it to. Um, suit UAL's uh, perspective basically and we put it in context of a UAL situation. Um, kind of before I get to that point I'll just give you a little bit of context in, in regards to how we got from here. Um, and it really comes from the, my working with Alto and exploring open education resources and this new wave of uh, free material that's going to be uh, coming online quite soon. A lot of it is starting to creep on as it, at the moment. Um, so soon we're going to have, hopefully, lots and lots of uh, video material out there, resources, learning resources uh, within the arts and design sector, uh, that there for, for for the taking really. Um, and I guess what I've been thinking about is is part of my experience of Process Arts, which is a site that I've been working on since what 2003. Uh, sorry, 2007, um, where video has been going on to here, video resources, uh, and I've been thinking about, okay, it's okay, we can, we can um, publish this video, but um, if we are talking about open education resources, which is about um, putting a, a license on your resource, saying that you can take this video, you can repurpose it, re-edit it for your own needs, um, and then republish it if you want. So you can take from other people's uh, videos, basically. Um, and just publishing, it's kind of hard because then you have to attach maybe a piece of video. It kind of gets quite muddy, no, quite messy. Um, so I was kind of thinking of a, a, an easy system for editors, specifically maybe based in each college, that have got the responsibility of edit, editing resources and editing lectures. And maybe there's a lecture at LCF that's got by a particular artist that you want to take a segment of that from. And then you've got um, studio um, crits or something where you're talking about that artist. And maybe you want to build this little resource up made up of three or four clips from various pieces of video over the six colleges. Um, so this is about as high tech as I've got. Um, so in a, in a very simplified form, we'll have a central pot in order to um, put uh, this video resource content. So it's, it's pretty much, it can be raw, it can be quite edited, uh, but the point is that we all add to the same pot, and then we can all take from the same pot. And what I've sort of missed from here is where it goes from within the colleges. So it can either stay within the colleges, but it can also fire out into... Um, into the world, really. So it might be a case that you uh, take, remix, and then, and then publish out wherever wherever you want to. Um, I don't know. Is everyone familiar with Creative Commons and licensing and OERs? I don't know, is anyone? Is this totally unfamiliar to anyone? But I'll explain it more maybe afterwards. Um, and then I guess the second second part of this is to think about um, other institutions, so other HEIs, and just imagine if we had one big pot of um, art and design resources, video resources, uh, where everyone was putting into the same pot from all art and design colleges across the UK. Um, and it, again, that's that's the bigger picture, whether that can happen or not. So I guess at that point we'll go over to Trams and Joe, this is Joe, who's um, kindly come in and set up uh, this fantastic demo for us and he's going to talk us through, um, just give us a little introduction to who Trams are. and then um, we're going to have a demo of basically how this could look, how this uh, server could look across the six colleges. 